Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Do you know the role that um, meditation and confession of the word have in Christendom, in the faith world? It's actually akin to, okay, I'll go a bit technical now, to what it takes to start an old-fashioned engine by hand, that is, to crank it. You first of all start turning the crank and there's a lot of resistance in the engine to start it. Initially it's so difficult, you crank and crank. I'm not talking of using some electrical device like an electrical motor. I'm talking of cranking by hand. There's obvious resistance to it being cranked. Now, the harder you put in your crank, or the harder you turn, the easier it ultimately tends to get. If you stop before the engine starts, your whole labor is in vain. The aim of your cranking is to crank to the point where that where compression in that is this is in a um, an internal combustion engine here we're talking about. You crank to the point where compression and ignition starts a chain reaction where once it has combusted, it powers itself. So you crank till the point, that is you are, you are expending energy to the point where your energy input is matched by the machine's energy output. And then it takes over. So you do not need to crank again. Once you've reached that critical point, ignition occurs and the machine takes over and it starts running of its own accord. You don't need to add any more energy. It now produces energy for you. That is the same thing with, or it's akin to confessing the word of God, making faith declarations. You might believe what, what God has said, but you are not you don't have a conviction on the inside of you. So you, you just keep confessing that word meditating on it and confessing this is what god said this is what god said this is what god said to the point where conviction comes that is a point of ignition the aha moment when that happens one further crank and it takes over the machine so to speak takes over and starts generating starts producing more energy than you put in more than enough to cater for your needs and sort out other things. Once you've got to that point where you've got into the point of conviction, once you say that word again, it is no longer a, a, a meditative word or um, a confessory word. It now becomes an order, a proclamation, a command. And because there is conviction, you believe it, and there is conviction on the inside of you, you've spoken God's word. It must happen. It must happen. Praise God. It must happen. Think about it. Hallelujah.